Is it worth it to create a business plan? Oh, so love this. Is it worth it to create a business plan? So for such a general question, of course, my answer has to be, it depends. But in, in this case, I really have to err on the side of, yeah, more often than not, it's going to be worth it to create a business plan. But you really have to remember what, what a business plan could be. Because there are a lot of people who provide business plans Oh, hey, great. Rachel sent in a question. I'm looking forward to answering that in just a moment. Hey, Michelle, welcome. Hey, Samantha, so glad you're here. There are so many different types of business plans and you want to, you have different um, variables to consider as well. So for example, is the purpose of your business plan so you can really get clear on what choices there are to be made. Hey, Andrea, welcome to the show. So you can get clear on what choices are to be made make those choices and you never have to look at your business plan again because the the act of putting into language what that powerful choice is creates language as a generative act not a descriptive act so that business planning in that sense the business planning process is more important than any piece of paper that you're going to wave around afterwards unless it's a certificate saying i survived the business planning process on the other end of the spectrum for example, if you're going for um, certain types of investment capital, some potential investors just want to see a one pager and they're typically more interested in management's successful history of bringing products to market or bringing services to market or creating and selling companies. And in some cases, less so than the products or services that are actually being sold. Um, and of course, they want to know the answer to the question, what are you going to do with our money? Sometimes that can really be conveyed in a single document. However, I have also seen situations in which a one inch thick or larger document, a binder is prepared containing all of the market research and the plans and, and so many variables and um, really describing that, describing management's plans. In this case, it's not necessarily creating it, but it's more describing it. Does anybody actually read those? I don't know. I don't know if anybody really reads those. My preferred, as you may have guessed, my preferred method of business planning is to use language as a generative act to get clear on the nine business elements and to get clear inside each of those business elements, four of which are more strategic and five of which are operational. What choices are there? What choices are there to be made? And starting with the vision and ending up in operations, um, getting clear on those decisions, choosing, and after that, you probably won't even need to look at the document. I mean, best case scenario, you end up with some visuals that then you can pass along to the people who are on your team now and in the future, so they can catch that vision, so they can understand your strategy, so they can understand how operations work um, at a macro level and their role in that, and the interconnectedness. It makes a powerful difference if a business plan is used as a generative act and as one that can constantly create company culture as the organization grows into the future. So, um, however, bear in mind that if that type of business plan is the one that you would most benefit from, but you get the other kind of business plan, you know, the one that's one inch thick and nobody really looks at because, wow, that's, I mean, that's a long trip to the bathroom if you get my drift. I mean, that's a heavy bathroom reading you're wasting your money. And I've seen a lot of people waste a lot of money on business plans that ultimately don't serve a purpose. If it's not helping you raise capital, if it's not helping you make a powerful decision, you know what, go to sleep, have a dream about your business, wake up and say, oh yeah, that was a pretty good idea, and take it for a spin.